I'll invite you to find a comfortable seat on your chair. Maybe just stay scooting a little bit away from the back of the chair if you like. An option to bring your feet as wide apart or close together as feels comfortable. Maybe resting the hands on the tops of the legs. An option to stretch the crown of the head skyward. And as we begin in a seat, we might notice the position of the spine. Noticing some of the natural curves through the spine, even as you sit tall. Maybe noticing a feeling of length through your spine. You might begin to bring some movement into this practice. One way to do that is dropping one ear toward the shoulder and then switching sides, dropping ear to other shoulder, if you like. And you might move more quickly or more slowly than I am. Invitation to pause if you find you'd like to do that at any point here. And then maybe dropping chin toward the chest, perhaps lifting the chin. If you choose, just changing that neck movement now, dropping chin to chest and then bringing the chin skyward. Perhaps noticing some sensation in your neck, maybe the back of the neck. As you're ready, you might find some stillness centering the head. Opportunity to bring some movement into the shoulders. You might choose to do this by rolling the shoulders. Another choice might be bringing the hands toward the shoulders and circling the elbows. You might choose another way to move through the shoulder joint. And choice to move at a different pace than I'm moving or even finding stillness. the arms down to the lap once again. And option to fold forward at the hips. And then finding a round through the spine, you might make your way back to a tall seat. Option to flow through that sequence, hinging forward at the waist. And then rounding through the spine to return to the tall seats. And noticing the breath. You might choose to synchronize the breath with your movement. Inhaling and exhaling. Or you might choose to move the breath and the body independently. 
up to three more rounds here. There's three. And two. And one. As you're ready, arriving in a tall seat. Invitation to heel toe the feet wide, as wide as feels comfortable to you. Heels in, toes out, if that's accessible. And I'll invite you to drop the hand or elbow to one leg and maybe lean over to one side. Here, a choice to bring that top arm up and over is toward the sky. As we're here, you might choose to bring some movement into the top arm. One way to do that is to circle the top arm. And as you're ready, you might reverse the circle. I'll invite you to find some stillness here. And when you're ready, bringing the torso back to center and an invitation to lean to the other side with hand or forearm on the top of the leg. That top arm might float up as toward the sky. and an invitation to bring some movement into that top arm once again. You have a choice of choosing the same circling of the arm on the second side or choosing a different movement or perhaps stillness here. And as you're ready, you might reverse the direction of the circle. And an invitation to find some stillness and bring the torso center. Here you might bring some spinal twist movement into this work. So dropping right shoulder down toward the floor as we look up over left shoulder. Back to center in our tall seats. I invite you to bring the hands to the top of the legs and a choice to drop the opposite shoulder toward the floor as we look up over the back shoulder, twisting to the other side. And an invitation to flow through this twist. So twisting to one side and then flowing over to the other side. The choice is also here to pause and find stillness in this twist. And as we move, maybe noticing the breath and an opportunity to sync breath with movement. Or choice to 
breathe independently of your movement today. And as you're ready, we're making our way back to a center seat. An invitation to heel toe the feet a little closer together. And option to turn to one side. For you folks, it might be helpful for you both to turn the same direction. Grounding one leg on your seat. Opportunity to slide the outside leg back as far as feels comfortable here. The knee might be grounding toward the floor or your back leg might be stretched. A choice here to bring the arms to a T-shape. you might bring some movement into this lunge. One way to do that is inhaling, floating the arms up toward the sky, and exhaling the arms down to a T-shape. You might choose to breathe with your movements or breathe and move separately here. Maybe three more breaths. Two. And one. Option to soften the hands toward the back rest of your chair in a lunge twist. Option to lift the chin and the heart center space gently. Maybe noticing sensation through the back leg. Sensation in the low back, in your low back. And as you're ready, softening out of this lunge and walking the feet back to center. An opportunity to take that series to the other side, facing the opposite direction and grounding your one hip and leg on the chair, and then sliding the outside leg back. Choice for the knee to be bent or to stretch that outside leg long. Opportunity to bring the arms to a T-shape. You might choose to bring movement into this lunge. One way to do that is bringing the hands up toward the sky and then dropping down to a T-shape. Fingertips skyward and then down to the T-shape. I'll invite you to synchronize your breath with this movement, if you like. Opportunity to be here for three. And two. And one. As you're ready, 
bringing the hands toward the back of the chair. An option for a lunge twist. As you're here, you might choose to lift the chin, the heart center space. Perhaps noticing sensation in your low back, in the front of the outside hip. And when you're ready, easing out of that and coming back to center on your seat. And opportunity to stretch one leg long in front of you. Perhaps pointing and flexing the foot. invitation to stay here for three more rounds. Two and one. And flexing the foot, bringing the toes back towards the shins if you like. You might windshield wiper the foot right and left. It's a small movement, but I'm sort of aiming the sole of my foot toward the midline and then aiming the sole of the foot kind of away from my midline. This is a small movement. It's not going to be a big movement through the ankle if you choose to join me here. Opportunity to stay here for three and two and one. Bending that knee, you might choose to wrap your hands or use a strap around the back of the leg. And an opportunity, an invitation to circle the knee. One strip. Oh. As you feel ready, reversing the direction of the circle. choose to find some stillness, grounding the foot. And then uh, an invitation to cross the ankle over the top of the opposite leg, or use a strap to support that stretch. You might choose to even walk your bottom leg out a little bit to support the stretch your body needs today an invitation to lean forward. You might find some movement in this stretch, maybe just gently nodding the head, chin to chest, and then lifting. You might choose stillness here. Do you sense into sensation in your outer hip? Or maybe in your glutes, in the seat on that side. Here for three. And two. And 
and one. And if you're ready, easing yourself out of that stretch, you might ground both feet down to the earth. And then an invitation to extend your other leg. An option to point and flex the foot. You might be here for another three and two and one. Option to flex the foot. Use some windshield wipers through the ankle. Ankle. So we're sort of pointing the insole toward the midline and then pointing the insole away from the midline. And in my body, this is a small movement and it might be in your body as well. You have a choice to be here for another three, two, and one. As you're ready, bringing that leg back to center, maybe wrapping behind the leg with hands or a strap. I invite you to bring some movement into the hip. And one way to do that is to circle the knee. Using your arms or the strap to do a lot of this work, if you like. And as you're ready, you might reverse the direction of that circle. And then an option to find some stillness when you're ready. You might choose to cross that ankle over the thigh or use a strap around the ankle. You might scoot your bottom leg out to support this stretch. And then a choice to lean forward into this stretch if you choose. And a choice here to remain in stillness. You might add some movement. One way to bring in some movement to the stretch is maybe a nod of the chin, chin toward chest, and then lifting the chin skyward if you like. And if you choose, we'll be here for three and two and one. If you're ready, you might choose to ease out of that stretch, coming back to a tall seat. And then I'll invite you to find a comfortable rest position. So any, any position in your chair that feels like a rest, you might, uh, or one way you could do that is to uh, scoot forward a little bit and lean back onto the backrest of your chair. Another way might be resting the hands on the tops of the legs, palms up or palms down. 
You could choose to keep the eyes open or close the eyes. Here in your rest, stillness might uh, be your choice, um, but you might also find that movement, in fact, brings you a greater sense of rest. So you might choose some movement here instead. And an invitation to sense into the breath. One way we might notice the breath is the temperature of the inhale and exhale. And you might find that noticing the breath, in whatever way you might be doing that, helps bring us into some greater awareness of our present moment. Here in our present experience. You might notice your inhale feels a little cooler and your exhale feels a little warmer. And it might be that you're not noticing anything in particular about the breath today. Here, I'll invite you to take a few more minutes in whatever version or choices you're making to find a restful place. you to maybe bring some more awareness back to your surroundings and if your eyes were closed you might blink your eyes open maybe find a taller seat thank you for practicing with me today